everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel, Lessons with Guitar Man. My name's Aaron, and I'll be your designated driver here today for this harmony part of Maydell's Reel. And for those of you that have been watching my channel, as promised, this is the third version of Maydell's, and in this case, it is the harmony part. What I've done here is arrange this to match the melody that I've already taught in the fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh fret of the guitar, or in the Phrygian position of E major, or starting on the third degree, and I'll show you that scale here in just a few minutes, and more or less just go went through this and arranged it so you would have a harmony part. If you haven't already learned Maydell's Reel, I would suggest that you go to my channel and learn the melody part of this song, and once you have that under your thumb, you can go ahead and learn this harmony part, should you choose to, and then you'll have something very unique that you'll be able to play, and a really cool harmony to a song that I think is just absolutely awesome. And I tried to keep it real closed position so there's not any jumping around or anything like that. So let's go ahead and dive right in there and see what makes this thing work. All right, now the scale that I've used in this is basically G sharp Phrygian or starting on the third degree, but it's basically still in the key of E major here. And that scale is gonna go like so. Four, five, seven, four, six, seven, four, six, seven, four, six, four, five, seven, four, five, seven, seven, five, four, seven, five, four, six, four, seven, six, four, seven, six, four, seven, five, four. Okay, and starting here at the pickup measure, we're gonna have a five and a six. Five, six. All right, and moving on to the first measure, you're going to have a four, six, four, six, and that's all down up, four, six, four, six, and then five, six, five, seven, five, six, five, seven, and that whole measure together is going to go like so, one, two, three, four. And moving on to the second measure, we're going to have a four, four, seven, five, four, four, seven, five, and then four, seven, five. And that whole measure together is going to go like so. One, two, ready, go. All right. And moving on to the third measure, what you're going to see here in the third measure is the exact same thing that we did in the first measure, so there's nothing new to learn there. All right, and moving on to the fourth measure, we're going to have a four, seven, five, seven, four, and that's four, seven, five, seven, four, and then a five, six. Okay. And that whole measure together is going to go like so. One, two, ready, go. All right, so let's go ahead now and play from the first measure through the fourth measure and see what that sounds like. So one, two, ready, go. And moving on to the fifth measure now, what you're going to see here in the fifth measure is exactly the same thing as we did in the first and the third measures, so there's nothing new to learn there. All right, and moving on to the sixth measure, what you're going to see here is exactly the same thing as we did in the second measure, so there's nothing new to learn there. And moving on to the seventh measure, we're going to have a new string of notes, and that's going to go like so. Six, four, six, four. Six, four, six, four, five, seven, four, five. And that whole measure together is going to sound like so. One, two, ready, go. All right, you can kind of hear how that's sort of a buildup. It's 
and moving on to the eighth measure, or the first ending, we're gonna have seven, five, four, five, and then four, five, six. And that whole measure together is gonna sound like so. One, two, ready, go. All right, well, let's go ahead now and play from measure five through measure number eight and see what that sounds like. So one, two, ready, go. All right, and looking at the second ending or the ninth measure, you're gonna see it's exactly the same as the first ending, except you have a, a rest followed by an upstroke. So the ninth measure is gonna sound like so. One, two, ready, go. All right, well, let's go ahead now and play through the entire A section and see what that sounds like. So one, two, ready, go. All right, well, nice job. You got through the A section. So let's go ahead now and move on to the B section and see what's going on there. All right, and moving on to the B part, what we're gonna have here is an open, five, open, four. Like that. It's like a triplet, four. Okay, and what I'm thinking here is this part of an E chord, and I'm just using these two notes. Right, And then for the B chord, what I've done is I'm thinking of this. For those of you that know your bar chords, there's a B. And I did four, open, hammer, open, four. But you're going to skip a string here and skip the G and go to the D string. So that's going to be... So it's kind of thinking of these two notes of a B. All right, and to tie off that measure, we're gonna have a six. And that whole measure together is gonna to sound like so. One, two, ready, go. Okay, now moving on to the 11th measure, what we're gonna have here is a seven, six, seven, four, six, seven. So, and then the last two notes are a four, five. And that whole measure together sounds like so. One, two, ready, go. Now, looking ahead at measure number 12, you'll notice that measure number 12 is exactly the same as measure number 10, so there's nothing new to learn there. And measure number 13 is exactly the same as measure number 11, so there's nothing new to learn there. And measure number 14 is exactly the same as measure number 10, so there's nothing new to learn there. And then measure number 15 is exactly the same as measure number 11. What we have here is the first two measures of the B part repeating three times. And then finally we get to the 16th measure where we're going to have almost the same thing as the 15th measure, but the last two notes change, and that measure's gonna go like so. So we're gonna have seven, six, seven, four, seven, six, seven, four, six, seven, four, six. And that whole measure together slowly is gonna sound like so. One, two, ready, go. And then moving on to the 17th measure, or the first ending, what we're gonna have there is a five, six, four, and then we're gonna jump down a string and go to four again, four, six. So that's five, six, four, four, 
six, five on an upstroke there. Okay, and one more time. So one, two, ready, go. And then if you look at measure number 18 or the second ending, what you're going to see there is it is exactly the same as the first ending, except we stop on the six. All right. So let's go ahead now and play through the entire B section slowly and see what that sounds like. So one, two, a you know what to do. Alright, so let's go ahead and play through this entire song slowly, and that'll be a wrap on this tune. One, two, ready, go. Alright, well there you have Maydell's reel, the harmony part. Uh, some final thoughts on this tune for you. There's not a whole lot of tricky stuff in the A part. The only thing I would pay attention to is when you get to this. When you get to right there, you have to jump down to this string to start it over. For whatever reason, I had a little bit of issues with that when I was uh, trying to uh, play this thing in time. So it's like... right there. Jumping on that note right there real strong on the G string. So in the B section what I would pay attention to is obviously this part. So I'm thinking of this chord or these two notes in the over the E and then on the B chord I'm thinking of this or this part of a B and going and then going to the sixth and going you kind of have to use your pinky right there in order to make that work or at least the way I play it anyway. If you're not real good at playing with your pinky, that could be a little difficult. I suppose you could go, but that's real stretchy and I, I just, I use my pinky there. And if you're not used to playing with your pinky, this might be a good one to try and get that one involved in your guitar playing a little bit. And lastly, what I'd like to say about this song is if you take the time to learn the melody part and then you take the time to learn the harmony part, if you show one of your buddies how to play the melody part, and then you can play the harmony part, and just like I did in the intro, you can have that really cool melody harmony thing going on there, and it just sounds really strong. Um, I would highly suggest maybe showing a friend how to play that original version, and then you could play the harmony part, and boy, you'd have something really strong to take to your next jam session or gig. All right, well, that's a wrap on this tune. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. If you have any questions for me, feel free to send me an email listed below in the description. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll be seeing you down the road.